Okay, so we've literally just got back off the bus from Malacca. We were there for about two, three days, and don't worry, on Sunday there's gonna be a mega, mega video out for you all about Malacca, what we got up to, what there is to do there, what there is to eat there, etc. I thought I would start showcasing the places I stay a little bit more. So disclaimer, not sponsored, not affiliated. I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of where we stayed. It's super cheap, super nice, and would recommend. So let's get into the review. So where we stayed was called Casablanca Guest House. Let's start with location. It's located literally 60 seconds away from Jonker Street and also about a two minute walk from the Dutch area. It is like 10 out of 10, perfect location. Second most important thing, Wi-Fi. Let's be real, it's the second most important thing. Wi-Fi was surprisingly fast. It was like 30 down, eight up. So that's 30 megabytes download speed, eight megabytes upload speed, super quick. And we were on the bottom floor in a private room, so I don't know if that had something to do with it, but down there the Wi-Fi is, woo, really good. Of course for that, I've got to rate it 10 out of 10. Staff, again, 10 out of 10, they were friendly, they were lovely, they were welcoming, not a problem whatsoever. We even extended our stay for one night and they were just so easy breezy about it. And yeah, the staff are very smiley and lovely. The room itself, um, I'd have to give like a seven because I was gonna give it much higher because the photos show like a little bit of a box room on booking.com and we were okay with that. And then when we entered, the room was so much bigger than what we thought it would be. So the room cost us 11 pounds a night, which is about 13 or 14 dollars per night. And that comes with an ensuite. You can pay a couple of bucks less if you wanna have a shared bathroom. But for a couple of bucks, if you're staying for a couple of nights, may as well go for your own bathroom. Now this ties on with cleanliness. With cleanliness, I would give it a six out of 10 because there was mold all over the ceiling in the bathroom. It is very dated and dusty. The sheets were clean though, the floors were clean, the bathroom was cleaned except the ceiling. So everything, it's not like running with cockroaches when I say six out of 10, but it's just a very old worn out building. So the facilities I will give an eight out of 10 simply because they had some amazing common areas and they also had a shared kitchen. It's a decent size, but that's pretty much all they had. And the vibe was very chilled and laid back. It's definitely not a party place. It's definitely just to go if you want a bit of quiet, you want to get some sleep. And I don't know, just chill out in the communal areas with a beer or a cup of tea and just chat with people, then it's perfect for that. Personally, would 100% recommend this guest house if you're going to Malacca for a couple of days. It is, like I said, it's super chill, so it's communal areas. The location is unbeatable. The Wi-Fi is super fast. So really, it kind of ticks all the boxes for us, but does it tick all the boxes for you? Let me know. If you've ever been to Malacca, then let us know where you stayed and what your experience was. I thought I'd just start sharing a little bit more about the accommodation that I'm staying in. So if you like this kind of video and you want to see more of this as I travel through the world, then let me know down below and, you know, kick it in, that in the face somewhere. Really hard, be aggressive and violent. I will see you in a couple of days. I'm going to be working really hard on that guide because, oh my God, we've got so much footage. I cannot wait to go through it. All right, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.